Busy day. In studio, Otto from Otto and George and Bob Levy. We made these guys wait a long time, yeah. and I apologize, but that That's Ian Halford shit was too good to pass up. I heard the screaming in the hallway. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, you liked it? He's a, he's a lunatic. People fucking hate him, and that's why we have him on the show, I think. Hate who? Huh? Hate who? It's this guy, Ian. Ian oh. Halpert. He does, like, gossip shit, and he's very entertaining. He really is. Yeah, so, as, I, as I was riding it? on the uh, Jersey Transit today with the smell of urine and disappointment on the train, <laughs> looking forward to my trek up here, getting here just in time to mop up and take the fucking garbage out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Dr. Zhivago trekking up 6th Avenue here. It's good to be here. First thing he says to me, yeah. you got anything in March? Yeah. <laughs> it's wide open. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Zhivago. Yeah, me and Levy drinking coffee right now. There's a Coke deal looking to get a paper route somewhere. <laughs> Save we, we used to do so much blow together after the shows. Like we we do pips, and uh, he goes, "You did. This is how you know you made it when you do pips." And we leave with two hundred bucks each, yeah. and we go and get blow. And I go, "Okay, let's do it." And he goes, "Wait, I got to bring George home first. I'm like, "You got to bring the fucking puppet home. We can't just do blow." He wraps him up like he's gonna fucking put a bullet in his head with a towel over his head. Oh, that get, towel on the head yeah. was so creepy. It was. Really? He wrap it up with yeah. a towel. Why did you have to wrap up George's head? You know, because I carried him in a duffel bag at that point. Yes. I didn't have him didn't in want a nice to the case. That's yeah. how Kennedy looked when they fucking shipped him to Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, no more blow for you guys, huh? No. Uh, uh, not today. Uh, <laughs> not going to be a pussy like him and quit altogether. Yeah. I mean, there's opportunity sometimes. Uh, you know, Bob always starts to justify his drug use. He'll go like, you know what, dude? I just don't do coke before 8 a.m. I'm okay. <laughs> if I could just do it like on the summer solstice. <laughs> If, if, I'm one of those guys, yeah. if I'm tired and I'm on the road yeah. and fan gives it to me, yeah. I'm like, you know, you don't turn down a fan. Or, and, or yeah. if you solicit it from the audience every eight well, seconds. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, so I was uh, driving on uh, up yeah. to the club. Anyone got, got blown? Blow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and I just hand it to you. It's nice. Yeah. I wouldn't trust that, though. How do you know it's not fucking strychnine? I'm still fucking alive. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take a chance. When it's strychnine, I'll take a chance. <laughs> well, who cares? But if you say that, that's like a logical argument, but like someone who's really doing drugs will just justify it. Well, how do you know the waiter's not poisoning you? All right. Good <laughs> yeah. point. You know, you eat true. food out of a restaurant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good point. What the hell, right? You get pissed on by hookers, and you're telling me about my fucking habits. I'm not saying you're wrong. <laughs> what? Where are they supposed to go? On the floor? If you saw it went on in most kitchens, you would never eat out in a restaurant nah, again nah. in your life. I remember there was this Greek diner, and the guy used to make the coleslaw by um, taking a garbage can, you know, not that had garbage in it, but like right from Home Depot, mm -hmm. and he put all the cut cabbage and a mayo in there, and then he would mix it with his filthy Greek arms and shoulders. <laughs> with all the hair like, on all it. The way, all the way up to his armpits. With sweat, fucking <laughs> disgusting uh, Greek armpit hairs going that's in. That's how it gets yeah. moist. That, think about that the next time you see that little fucking eye cup of coleslaw they give you. I hate coleslaw. It's disgusting. Thank God, I don't I like coleslaw. Really? You don't like That's it? Fucking, oh. It's an atrocious side dish. It is. Thing, right? No. <laughs> yeah. It's like they just have to give you something else. What about rice pudding? Nasty. Rice. I'll, I'll eat rice no, pudding. No, no, no. Yeah. That looks wow. like a three-day load. I put, you know yeah, what I mean? I, yeah. it? I like when the waiter throws it on my back and face. <laughs> put it a little on my chin, yeah. and I'll be yeah. on my way. Could you force my face into the pudding? <laughs> and I'll enjoy it. You can't like uh, rice pudding, Otto, can you? No, it's all right, good. Fucking, right. and I hate it's midgets. Horrendous. <laughs> when I see a midget pudding. eating rice pudding, I, I kicked a midget against a wall at a show. You remember? that with Florentine? When we did oh, a show when you said, Island. how tall aren't you? Yeah. And then the other line. And, and, yeah, I was, I was on him all fucking show, and he it was probably about the four, four ten, and he wanted, and he comes out of the show, and he goes, how about I punch you in the face? And I said, go ahead, and he threw a punch, and I just moved my head a little bit, and he goes, I should get some money, and he threw another punch, and I just sidekicked him no, into the, best, the wall, the, the and they line, threw me out of the club. The best line, he goes, what do you do during the day other than avoid mousetraps? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He was so was fucking. Mad, but what, what are you gonna do? Well, what did you pay if you yeah. had to walk around like that? Hey, he shouldn't yeah. sit up front. Fuck him. <laughs> That's true. He got, too. He, got he, he couldn't see if he didn't. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> Poor little guy. Size of boy. Bob, he fucking lady side kicked the midget. And he's talking about like he was in Game of Death. <laughs> <laughs> so beware, midgets out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Damn uh, it. <laughs> hey, you got a text message from uh, an old friend? Jeff you guys were telling uh, me about. Yeah. Uh, 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 Really? Because I, I came in to plug a, a uh, job 
that he's like friends with the owner. So I, I tell him to tell the owner that I'm going to be on O and A today. Right. Uh, just to let him know there's a good plug. So uh, it's, it's like Otto's using a typewriter. Look, he doesn't even have to fucking use this thing. Look at him. I'm primitive, man. Yes. <laughs> you tell O and A that Norris appreciates being blown off and treated like I don't exist after all I did for them fucking jerk offs. <laughs> Holy what are you shit! About? What? What is that? That's true anger in there. So the last wow. time we saw Jeff what Norris, you? we just got back to satellite, and he came in to say hi because uh -huh. you know we we went away for a couple of years. Came in and he was having such a bad appearance that he actually said live on our show, "Well, I'm just here to say hi." Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he? I and that was the last that. time, and we didn't trash him or nothing. Right. And that was the last time we saw him. All the great things. What, like bruising my windpipe right before I went on vacation? <laughs> really? Did he? Demonstrating what he did to somebody. Did he really? He just died. Oh. We were down at Caroline's. Oh. And he's like, yeah, this guy comes up to me and, uh, and he gives and starts giving me shit. So I just, you know, took the crook of my hand right between the thumb and, uh, pointer finger and just went, bam! And he <laughs> hit me in yeah. the throat. I went like, Paw! Oh, get out of here. I, I like go, I go down on one knee. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? That's your goes, bread oh, and I butter. Didn't, I didn't uh, know. You uh, know, he, he doesn't, doesn't know his own strength. He's like yeah. Kong. Yeah. Big, yeah. He's like yeah. Kong. Yeah. Nah, don't worry, that's high tensile steel, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Otto came up with Big White Gorilla. Yeah, for that reason. Can yeah. we get him on the phone? Let's let's hash this out. Baby Gorilla, I got his number. Yeah. Fucking let's hash this out. I want to see I, what his problem. I, I seen this. him uh, right in the summer last summer. Right I was at a diner and he walked in. And I think yeah. he's doing like construction now or something like that. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. he's not doing gigs anymore. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, he works all the time. Hey, Chris. Hi, hi, <laughs> uh, Chris and PA. Thanks. Uh, uh, thanks. Now I'm officially done with coleslaw because of Otto. Yeah. Oh, that is a yeah, great, I'm uh, you. great visual of some big hairy Greek <laughs> arm with his armpits. <laughs> fucking <laughs> Vic Tabak. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I'll damn. never forget that. That's Mixing disgusting. with his arms all the way up to his shoulders. It Very was good. Was you may, uh, you yeah. want the coastal? What do you, uh, pe I, peas and carrots? I you got to get down to the bottom. I, yes, mix it good. Nothing. I fuck your mother in the ass already. I, <laughs> I fuck your mother in the ass already. This is how we make it a Greek. This is yeah. how Greek make it. Yeah. And yeah. then fuck the ass. <laughs> Braggly cauliflower and kill you. <laughs> All right, old Nassus, you fuck. Get your armpits out of my food. Exactly. Big savage forearms. <laughs> Disgusting, I know. And who orders, like, fish? At a diner, there's no uh, way. Yeah. It, it, cow fresh burgers that and eggs. My wife's from it's Cleveland. Like, yeah, she, eggs, she goes, "Well, you're gonna get a steak when you go to the diner with your son." I go, "Who gets a fucking steak at a diner?" She goes, "I never went to a diner." Oh. I go, "What are you? How no, have you never nah. been to? We don't have diners we've in never Cleveland." Been to a diner. I go, where, where, "Where is this fucking place, Cleveland, that has no fucking diners?" Diners yeah. breakfast are, are really a New York thing. And, you and, get outside New York, you don't see a lot of. Di well, you guys know. Well, you well, travel. I'm always Jersey's at a fucking diner. New Jersey, Jersey has them. Denny's is what they have. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yep. But it's like yeah, I can understand diner. eggs, you know, yeah. some bacon, whatever the fuck yeah. breakfast, and then but then they got these things like, what am I going to get halibut? I'm going to get fucking <laughs> they, you know, the swordfish. Oh, they, this is <laughs> this is delicious. Yeah, I know. Yeah, caught this if they have year. a lot of seniors <laughs> that eat there, then you might have a chance of not getting fucking poisoned. Well, oh, yeah. What, what do they like the fish? The yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, well, they don't want to die, so they. Eat and a then lot you of fish. always get the cut whenever the. Old fucks are sitting there. You <laughs> always get the uh, the hospital or medical conversation starts oh, yeah. right in the table next to you. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear? Oh yes, it was <laughs> horrible. They had to cut out his gallbladder, oh, yeah. and then they found <laughs> the cancer. <laughs> yeah. And, it was, and I'm like trying to fucking eat, and they're talking yeah. about fungus and yeah. cake, and it all never once have I gone into a diner where some old fucking bags weren't sitting next to me or behind yeah. me, where they didn't start talking about their I fucking know. failing bodies. The bone marrow is dripping out. <laughs> Of my ankle yeah. as we speak. I, I got that. Well, they put a drain in because yeah. the pus can't remain in my body. Yeah. You and I finished that coleslaw. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yeah, yeah the coleslaw. I'm yeah. done. And I couldn't move. And the orderlies were getting on top yeah. of me, one yeah. after the other. It was like the Fat Boys movie. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I don't think we're gonna get a Jeff Norris on the phone today. Spewed him on the no. eggs. What the fuck, Jeff? He's Come not on. calling. Uh, well, they're, they're trying to call him. What, no. we, what do we got on Jeff Norris? Uh, just, just talking the. Uh, yeah, just get, what? Get you he does these impersonations. Uh, I yeah. swear, you would think it was the real people. Huh? That's right. <laughs> um, he's bringing his father into the hospital right this. Oh, second. Jesus! Really? Uh, what's wrong with his father? He, he didn't want to say, but uh, no. I gave him the number here, so he'll call in. Uh, was he, well, was he at a diner complaining? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we can't rip him apart if he's taking his yeah, father to the hospital. Yeah, really. Jeez. Uh, they couldn't have ruined a moment any I, worse I than know. that. I know.
Uh, maybe he just came up with that. Maybe uh, he doesn't want to fucking do it. Maybe he heard this. the Dinah talk and he yeah. figured he'll get out yeah, of it. Yeah, he'll yeah, get yeah. out of it that way. Get out of this shit. <laughs> Jerry uh, Langford, I want your autograph. You should get cancer. <laughs> I hope you get I cancer. I hope you get cancer. <laughs> oh, would you say hello to my grandson? Yeah. yeah. What's his yeah. name, Milton? Yeah. He's in the hospital. We the followed your whole of career. I'm a little busy. I hope you get cancer. You should only get cancer. <laughs> that fucking movie. That's great, great, right? That fucking look Jerry gives her. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Now we got Cleveland people calling. Andy in Cleveland. Andy. And it's a common word offense. We do have some diners in Cleveland. It's just the, the translation for Ohio is family restaurant. They don't, they don't call them diners. There's uh, three of them near my house. Uh, that's what well, they have like a Stuckies or like what are some of the names of these? Oh, God. Hell Stuckies holes. is a. Stuckies was a chain that's been like on since the uh, mid '80s, but um, <laughs> like you know they got like around Cliff. Uh, Steven has from Bay Thank Shore. Thank you. I really was so, gearing up for an awful yeah. fucking yeah. dissertation. I got yeah. a sock called Stuckos. Yeah. <laughs> we got Jeff Norris update. Uh, his what? father is sick with disappointment over his son's career. Oh, oh no, stop. So, uh, <laughs> so we had to rush him to the hospital. hospital. God, he's going to be here for like two months. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh-oh, here comes another text. Norris, fucking calls tomorrow, then, if you're listening. Rinky dinky. Oh, oh, no, no, this out. Good. We love Norris. Hey, yeah, I mean, he's a good guy. And you brought. And you brought. <laughs> he hasn't. I do uh, blood. So he hasn't talked to to us in in years. But but you know it's like he sh he should call up then. Like who we are supposed to reach out? Well, that's what yeah. it is. You reach out to the show to go on. That we haven't seen I told in fucking him that. Years. I go. I go. There's the we deliver keggers girl. I go. They're doing a Jesus. show that takes up all their time. You think they're thinking about you? They're busy living their lives. Well, we think about them. Yeah, yeah. We talk about them, just not on the air. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're just not going to call them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're not going to call them or you know have them on the show <laughs> yeah. or even talk to them probably. But <laughs> the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Hudlow, <laughs> <laughs> <Love, love. laughs> Hey, run right on. Let's. Say how to footer. Footer. Yo, what's up, boys? Hey, hey um, I just want to say, fucking Levy and fucking Otto, you guys are the fucking best. And it, it's a shame because, like, you guys just come in and you're fucking organically funny. No fucking act, no bullshit. Thanks, and punching out. Thank you. America has no <laughs> fucking idea. Thanks, I mean, man. like, no offense, but you know what I mean? You guys aren't fucking like these. No offense, like, but you're unknowns. Guys. Yeah, what a, but that was kind of a backhanded compliment. What I can't believe you two are abject failures. You guys are great. Guess what these two failures thought yeah, about outside. A... We're going to go on tour together. Yeah. <laughs> You've never done that before? Uh, we work a couple times together, and it just works out great because we're two vile, disgusting people yeah. on stage, yeah. but people love us. So. You did that gig a few months ago. I didn't like going on after. It was too much. Already. Well, whatever. The MC we'll switch said it up. Who in the first 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, By the time shit. I get up there, it's like... Uh, I, I don't say the C say? word. It's like the... No. Yeah, I, it's, <laughs> I say the C word. I say I prefer, it like that. I prefer like a Seinfeld before me. Not that uh, he's going to open. I mean, that uh, brand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cunty, cunt, cunt, cunt. Yeah. Yeah. Cuntly, yeah. cuntly. Uh, tonight, Otto and Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah. Bye, but fucking... No, but you want somebody who's different. I know what you mean. Like, I like to have Amy Schumer because she's really funny, but she's totally different. It's like you want someone different than you in front of you because yeah. then it's like not two guys doing That's the same, same vibe. Why don't yeah. you guys yeah. rotate who goes on first? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. fucking That's, matter. That's you a know? good fucking show, I'm telling it you right now. It is a good show. And he's fucking like already whining. We didn't even put it together, Yeah, really? What the fuck? I was watching that bloke, that fucking Ron White. I mean, he's a good stand-up, but I was like, his audience is... You know, he's filming it like in Texas, and, 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 his, <laughs> yeah. and his whole routine is about how people in L.A. suck... Or, or, you know, of course they're going to fucking, you know, how safe can you yeah, play? Yeah, them goddamn you know? street walking, yeah. concrete walking shoe wearing <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. I understand. We got a book, a book reader. Oh, you, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you were talking Seventh about... grade? <laughs> what? You, wait, you did that talking about uh, Jesse Jackson called New York Jaime Town? Yeah. Fucking Chris Rock had the greatest line in Comedy's Dirtiest Does, and he goes, when um, Jesse Jackson was running for president, he goes, really confused rednecks they go all my life i wanted to vote for a jew hater turned out to be a nigger <laughs> <laughs> holy, is that great holy yeah. Yeah. Just goes, is that great yeah that's funny you uh, can't say it. like you guys are uh, arguing before about that i got into a fight with a black guy in the audience because i was busting his balls he and he goes a midget? no he wasn't a midget <laughs> this time so and i took him on <laughs> and i was just busting his balls and he goes that's racist uh, and i go don't play that fucking racist card i go look i'm a jew i go what did you do you pick cotton a few years i go we were thrown in fucking ovens that's a little fucking worse than fucking <laughs> picking cotton motherfucker and the audience was on my side finally you know yeah. you know how they always turn on you like yeah. they're like oh my god the fucking oh, crazy oh, white yeah. racist you know what i mean i'm not I, yeah like michael richards yeah I, exactly i'm not yeah, <laughs> like, look how the that. audience turned on well, yeah. he, he didn't know 
what the fuck he was doing, but I fucking knew what I was doing, and I fucking turned it on. Why did he call you a racist? Because I was busting his balls. Right. Like, was he any different than anybody else? In the, I go, what makes you different? I, I go, if you don't want to be different, get a hundred like everyone else on a fireman score. It'd be a fireman, <laughs> all right? Yeah. Do you want to be a policeman? Get a hundred instead of a ninety, you know? And I fucking beat his ass down. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, fuck that shit. I'm not. I'm, I hate this racism shit. I'm everybody so wants to be the same. Women want fucking equal rights. Fuck you. No, then stop fucking stealing our kids, you yeah. fucking cunts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see my kid two hours a fucking week. You know what I mean? Do I got a chance of winning him over? Mm -hmm. He doesn't want to fucking see me oh, anymore. Shit. It's yeah. fucking horse shit. That's a lot of pressure. In two hours, you got to make hours. a good impression. Exactly. You got to make up for all like, the asshole talk she did about yeah. you. Exactly. Yeah. I'm like, you know what we're going to do today? We're going to go to a baseball game. You're going to meet fucking uh, uh, Howard, Ryan Howard. You know, I'm going to take you to the mall, buy you everything you fucking yeah. want. And then um, you can fuck me in the ass and I'm going to bring you home. Yeah. I mean, what can you do in two yeah. hours to win over all the hate that she gave why? you the whole week? Why only two hours? Because my what lawyer's fuck a fucking you... asshole and he was a fan of mine. I, I, you know, I, you ever get a lawyer that's a fan of you? you no. Walk in? Uh, yeah. That's what I did. And he's like, oh my God, look, it's Bob Levy and they're taking pictures with me. Oh. And next thing you know, I'm living in the basement for fucking four years paying $5,000 a yeah. month. Bob, but uh, what, what is the court saying you did? Because <laughs> the two hours a week, that's... Yeah. Nothing. What, what, what are they, they saying? They they get, instead of paying $4,000 a month. They give you more month, time at the, com at the fucking cellar. Well, Norris would get more time with my kid <laughs> or on this show. But I'm saying is, is that... And she kills you if you're late, right? Uh, uh, oh, with the check? I haven't... No, uh, uh, getting the kid oh, back. I, I'm, I'm there early. I'm, I get everywhere early. You shouldn't uh, have pumped any babies out. What well, that was... You, yeah. you don't know that the women are going to do this to you afterwards. Yeah. They, they want to be equal, but they, they don't want to be equal when it comes to them getting slammed down. Right. She goes, you're going to pay for my lawyer if we go back to... I'm not paying for your fucking lawyer. Huh. I go, I, well, when are you going to stand on your own? You know, it's the fucking women. They're ruining guys. They're ruining kids brains that they're growing up they fucking hate their father you know i'm a fucking pretty nice guy when i'm not drunk and on coke <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know and, and fucking doing bumps with the kid uh, here you yeah. go a couple, a couple of, more years yeah. right yeah. he's yeah. getting there he's getting there. i was gonna get a tattoo of uh of uh, an Ellis's show for fucking uh, you know to get him a tony hawk bike you yeah. know what i mean yeah. and now i'm like fuck it you know i'm not fucking doing this how much fuck. is a tony hawk bike i could have bought it <laughs> you know what I mean? But it was just the fact of me doing it for my son out of fucking respect. He'll be a teenager soon. And he'll come to your shows. It'll be, it'll be through he'll your workout. He'll come to my yeah. shows. Yeah. What kind yeah, of kids go to your show? Yeah. Well, I was always wondering why like. dad's breath smelled like blue cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was just a big salad eater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still do that? No, I, uh, I retired oh, you, get, you retired the blue cheese I bit? You to. want to explain to the people that have never seen your Bob the I, blue cheese bit? It's, it's classic. classic. At the end, uh, uh, it started in South Carolina with me and Florence. Quarantine. There was some black chick at, at, at the bar, and we were offering her money to eat something out of her ass. So I think we came out with $38. <laughs> she looked like uh, uh, Whitney Houston. She was pretty hot. Wow. And, uh, mm. and they had the package of, of blue cheese. So Jim, you know, squirted in her ass, and I ate it out of her ass. We gave it a 38 oh, bucks. God. And then the next night, it got onto the radio, and the whole audience had, like, blue cheese oh, bottles. And then it started from there. How and, many times have you done it? Uh, thousands. No. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm telling you. <laughs> thousands. I, thousands. Is I'm that true, Jimmy? Oh, it's definitely. It was it's definitely certainly true. a development deal, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see my son. Yeah, I'm telling you, Thousand Islands reps in here. <laughs> yeah. Why don't you sell blue cheese after the yeah. show? Now I understand the two hours a week. Bob. I, know, yeah. that I think, has I think to that might have came up in court. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna go with Wishbone. They're gonna buy me T-shirts. She, she, she would take videos. She would take videos off of YouTube and that shit and try to get me in trouble. Oh, I mean, it, that on. has nothing to do with fucking yeah, me as a use, person. Use your act. She's yeah, at, that's the She's worst. A man. Malignant cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Language. Wow. Uh, this is my home. But uh, I guess I won't be seeing my son. Like, I give up. I, I can't do... I can't win him over in two hours, so I'm going to wait. How does he until... treat you? What is he just like... Yeah, uh, it's like... I go, I go here. Look, my <laughs> wife got you. <laughs> <laughs> he fumbles with the gun as you're shot after buying Coke and an apple stand. <laughs> I got to go into this building. Keep the car running. Son. No, but... I, it, it's it's like it two in the two hours. What the fuck were we just talking about? Yeah, we yeah, how is he with you? Uh, oh, he's great with me. But then, like, I go, uh, we got him a shirt from the Cleveland uh, <laughs> Hall of Fame Rock and Hall. I go, let's go there next summer if you want to go there. And then he's thinking, he goes, what about the year after? And I'm like, I give up. You know yeah. what I mean? He doesn't want to do anything with me. It's like yeah. it's like I'm the 
this bad guy that that moved out of the house. It's my fault that your fucking mother was a cunt that I had to move out. You know what I mean? Wow. You didn't so, say that to him, I hope. Uh, no, I wrote it down. Oh, okay. I wanted him. To How old is he? He's ten. Oh, fuck. but, but oh, it's, it's so hard for me Gone. to win him over. I can't win him over, and I just got to give but up. How I old gotta, was he when you two split? I, I've been out of the house for like uh, three years, and I've lived in the basement for like four before that. So, I mean, I tried to stay as long as I can to raise my son. And he loved me when I was there and getting my ass kicked every day living in a basement with fucking cockroaches. But, you know. There's roaches down there? No, it was, it was a cricket, you know, but <laughs> it was the same thing. They're hard to get, yeah. you know. But it, I did this for my son, and now I move out, and I figure, oh, this is going to, he'll just yeah. be with my, you know, my new wife. And all of a sudden, it's fucking, he hates her because she helped him with the homework, and she, he went home to her and said it, and they just turned. They're just fucking evil people. It, when I, Baby comes out of a woman. It takes all the <laughs> happiness out of them. <laughs> and, and yeah. It just makes them into a miserable fucking bitch. Awesome. You know, what I mean? it, yeah. it sucks all the happiness out of the room of a woman's. Car. What we need is more love in the world. That fucking cunt. <laughs> 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 it's the truth, man. Ask any divorced fucking guy that's suffering and paying all this money for what? For, for a woman that wants fucking rights, that, that wants to, uh, why can't you get a job? Oh, well, I'm used to this lifestyle. Hey, you're driving a better car than me. What the fuck have you done on stage, you stupid bitch? Well, that's always the case. It's like, you know, you pay out money, and it's like, well, what did, what did you do? Yeah. What, I, I was the one going to work, doing this, doing that, and, and I'm the one that's got to pay I'm out a, money. And Richard Pryor just, was on a car no show. It doesn't. He goes, uh, he goes, uh, in my last divorce, I had to give her, thir like, $20 million. You know, bitch ain't told one joke. Carson <laughs> fucking fell off. Yeah. 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 Carson got beat up yeah. that way, too. Oh, sure. yeah. Everybody does. It's, yeah. it's all of a sudden, it's like, you know, well, look, uh, women's right. Everybody the fucking courts just allow it. Yeah, and the courts, that's what the judge, I hope the fucking next time they fucking smash that fucking mallet on it, it comes off and fucking hits him right in the eye. It breaks in half and fucking takes his eye out. Because they're all <laughs> cocksuckers. The judges and the fucking lawyers, they fucking... I said, you know, I've said it on the show plenty of times you think well, you go into it with this mindset that it's going to be testimony and you're going to hear this side of the story and that mm -hmm. and be able to get everything out there it's all pre-calculated slide rule you're just there for fucking you know to be to watch yourself get fucked exactly because uh, yeah. they already have it all figured out divorce is a formula for them yeah. Yeah. you made this much she was this this many years this that here get pay, pay her this and you can't even go like, look, Your Honor, you I like plead. to, you I like to plead, explain right? yeah. how the situation. Explain what? Yeah. No, yeah. sit here. You pay this. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Get out. And yeah. then she goes, I need a little more than what the formula yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. A little more. Oh, well, and they'll, they'll let her talk and, and exactly, get more. Exactly, yeah. because she can't lose her lifestyle that I no. created for her. Accustomed yeah. to. Yet your lifestyle that you became accustomed to can go down the shitter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got to chop smaller lines now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking Mr. Thrifty Vodka. <laughs> so my kid can go to college. I'm drinking Gordon's Vodka. Fuck <laughs> 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 God damn, man. <laughs> 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 you guys got a tour to go. Oh, we you got to figure it out. I got to bring my own <laughs> booze to the yeah. clubs from now on. Yeah. Yeah. Remember we have to sneak yeah. in booze to yeah. clubs because it's fucking in the nightmare. beginning? Hmm. Ah. Fucking women. Just, you're a funny guy, though, man. Nobody's faster with an ad lab. You fucking kill me. <laughs> I love you. How tall. The vodka like line a, was pretty damn good, though. That was. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's... Sounds like a real case of frickin' freck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, put on your bunny suit. I fucking whacked off to that picture. How did you not? My fucking bulge was very impressive. What <laughs> 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 is stupid stupid bunny suit. Yeah. He's cute. Yeah. He's cute. I, I said, I wish you were here. I should have been blowing somebody at the end of The Shining. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on, Ma. I don't I want to put this exactly. on. Put on your little piggy mask and fucking <laughs> suck someone's dick at the overlook. <laughs> hey, nigga. Cool. <laughs> when, when Nicholson, when he goes, a nigga cook, he goes, he almost sounds like Paul Lynn. He goes, a nigger. <laughs> he almost does a little fucking Charles Nelson Riley there. A nigger. I, I, every time that part comes yeah. on in that movie, oh, it's, it's just like, God damn, Nicholson delivers that line. Oh, it's, it's great. How the fuck did he do it's that? It's the whole idea of the conversation is that there's been a little avocado spill. Oh, yeah. And now I have to quietly talk you into murdering your wife and some of the axe. Let me get this little water, sir. Yeah. 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 It's just, I, and I love the fact that he goes, uh, you, uh, 
I know you. You're Delbert Grady. You yeah. uh, chopped your wife and your daughters yeah. up, and then you blew your brains out. Yeah. Like, like, gotcha. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. I don't uh, recall that. Don't recall, so, yeah. Yeah. I don't recollect that at all. Gonna go to, to the goose liver pate uh, soiree. <laughs> <laughs> what does he call it? A goose. Something? The goose and duck soiree. Yeah. Soiree. Yeah. <laughs> cool. He's just he kind of he's talking. Let me to. just take my bourbon and avocado <laughs> right back to the bar. They're all <laughs> fucking well dressed in suits and tuxedos. He's dancing through in a fucking like a, a burgundy denim jacket. <laughs> yeah. Unshaven. I like, I like how he goes. His son needs a talking to, yeah. perhaps a bit more. Oh, here's it a... goes from talking to him to chopping him up with an axe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, Delbert didn't have much gray area. Yeah, not even a spanking. Yeah. We think you should really open the boy up with an axe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, make him eat the coleslaw first. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and we'll cut him. Yeah, you got ham hocks, twenty legs of lamb, and coleslaw <laughs> yeah. with Greek olives. You got your yeah. turn. <laughs> <laughs> You got your turn flakes. <laughs> <laughs> Worst excuse ever. She's like, How did you know we call him Doc? Yeah. Well, he looks like a doc. He looks yeah. like a doc. What's your favorite food? French fries, you honky motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Tony? He's the little boy who comes in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. It was a great movie. Oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Fucking talk about that movie. It's great. Yeah. I am holding it, by the way, such a shit. I'm not going to really? tell you. Is, oh. is that why oh. your farts have been, like, noxious? It's, it's, it's one that starts, like, you ever shit where every time you swallow, it passes over the log? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking, your farts have been like when you're stuck in that French tunnel where the truck exploded. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I can't breathe. It's awful. I don't the air is just going over it now. I've been, yeah, just, yeah. You know? I've yeah. been on some car trips with him where it was horrible. It's just horrendous, oh, right? Skunk yeah. vomit smell. Oh, better. fucking, the other day, I'm like, I'm yeah. leaving the garage, and, uh, yeah. and, and I'm, he does this as thing. I'm getting as I'm getting in, I look at and the passenger door. He's got it open. His ass is in there, and he's fanning oh, from his ass <laughs> into my vehicle. And he just shuts the door. And lets, now I'm stuck with Jimmy fart smell oh, all the way down fucking forty. Yeah, I cut a nice fucking gasser in his truck. You know, <laughs> yeah. A little something to take with you. Yeah, here you go. <laughs> Memories. <Yes. of> me. <laughs> it was an easy pass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to open the window with this easy pass. <laughs> we lost CBS, by the way. They came in to do a little B-roll during all, uh, that, was, all that really blue material. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Instead of B-roll, now it's going to be a feature piece. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is what's happening on your radio station. Pigs! Uh, did you know what happens even on satellite? Yeah. The most offensive. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 up. Man, they picked the perfect time to come in here and do a little B-roll. Holy <laughs> shit. And, and they flee. They didn't even say goodbye. That wasn't even, I think that no, was they didn't more like N-roll. <laughs> <laughs> I have to do an interview with them. Really? Uh, it's just, yeah, CBS.com. Oh, oh, very good. They probably want to know about really good looking people in comedy. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, fuck it. What's next? <laughs> so, Otto, when we hit the road, me yeah. and you. Yes. Yeah. Come back. I didn't do my cunt in Hernandez. <laughs> <laughs> Are you doing a gig uh, with Valby? Yeah, I am. You and Valby's good too. Sorry, yeah. Bob, but uh, you're out. Oh, sorry, no, no, I don't have a he's piano. He's too much of a lone wolf. I can't get him to do anything other than. Dude, we tried to get him on that stupid uh, comedy tour of ours, and and he'd rather play a, a hole in the middle than he's a strange, in the middle of nowhere. Strange person. There's, a strange person. There's a lot of strange people in this yeah. business. We love the guy, but Jesus, John, he, I, wake up! He told HBO to fuck themselves when they were just starting out, and they needed comedians. HBO of all people. Really? Yeah. Why? Star. What is it? Starland Ballroom. On February 19th, will be me and John Valby. That's, uh, what, a week from tomorrow? For yeah. reservation, 732-238-5500. Where's the Starland Ballroom? It's a great show. It's, it's, a, it's, it's a good, it's a good, good to rock ball. You should come in here and do a little something, too, yeah. next week. Should, fuck yeah, try to get him in here. Maybe that, maybe you that come back with him on Friday. Yeah. Bring the coleslaw. We don't do it yeah. anymore. Hey, Lonnie, hey, Lonnie. Lonnie. Hey, Friday, <laughs> huh? Friday morning. I'll try for, for Thursday or Friday yeah, morning. I love that. We I'll love him. him. I'll tell him he can sleep at my house. That's no problem. Oh, I'm sure he's that's a big sell. I got a picture yeah. of him where he's sleeping on the couch <laughs> waiting to go on our yeah. show. Was he really? He just slept in that big studio we had. He just uh, slept in the corner until yeah. we were ready for him. I love him. <laughs> I love Valby. <laughs> what I love about him, he'll do a gig on Long Island in the middle of a fucking uh, blizzard and then drive back to Buffalo right after the gig. He don't. He never stays. He just. He don't give a shit. Right back in the car. He gets Ron to really? drive him home in that fucking van that looks like it's going to explode at any moment. Maybe he's yeah, a crazy yeah. OCD or something, you know? He does not fly, and he wants home by 
uh, Sunday. Wait, he doesn't he fly? Wants, he figures, no, he doesn't fly. He wants to be home for football. He's a big you, you football remember fan. Remember, we used to do Buffalo, and you would you, 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 know, you still you had all that energy from the show, and you go, what, "Why go back to the room? Just drive." And then yeah. we, tomorrow, you're not you don't spend the whole day in the car. That's you true. Know? Yeah, but yeah. you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I have a nice picture of John Bell. Hey, that same that. night, February 19th, I'm doing Jimmy C's in Tom's River. Jimmy C's Comedy Club is in Tom's River. That's a... Ten <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I'm here to plug. 10 o'clock show. <laughs> it's all on my head. do two shows? <laughs> I'm doing a double header. Jimmy, yeah, C's. Doing Jimmy C's in Tom's River. That's in, in Tom's, Tom's River. River. Yeah. <laughs> and, and if you look yeah. it up on the map, it'll be Tom's River. Oh, yeah. 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 Jimmy C, don't get that pod. <laughs> <laughs> to make him a big star. It's perfect for him. Yeah. Oh, thank just God. to show you I'm not a hard... hard <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Send Jimmy C comes along yeah. with his gig in Tom's River. <laughs> Chunks. Hey, hey, you get the hell out of here. He right. books a ventriloquist yeah. just to make me look ridiculous. <laughs> All right. John Peasy comes in with his puppet. <laughs> with his <laughs> puppet and his white makeup charm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love how Waltz was like, he, he kind of loosened up. He's like, hey, Tom, you should have told me. Yeah. And as he's talking, it turns into, now get the hell out of yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> like, wait, yes. I'm just, Tom's just eating his food. Guy's getting just more pissed off. I know. It started off nice. Hey, Tom, he, he doesn't react you should have told he, me who you were. He just goes, for. the Don likes bad news immediately. Thank you for a pleasant evening. <laughs> yeah. And spitting pierogies on me while you were doing your memorized little speech. Thing. <laughs> and the best part is that Waltz goes, I'm not a hard-hearted man. Yeah. And in the like, they, they cut it out. But the girl he had fought upstairs was 12. Yeah. That oh, little Jesus. pony birthday party he was involved in, I don't think they cut that out. Yeah. But that's what he Waltz was doing when Tom Hagen arrives. There's, he's having a party for one of his big stars. He's giving this 12-year-old girl a pony. And then he walks away and he goes, my kraut, my friend. Yeah. And then later in the apartment, you see that girl's mother making her go into a bedroom. Oh, and the girl shit. is crying. So Jesus. you know he had fucked a 12-year-old girl. Oh, that's oh, in the book. The book tells you yeah, that, too. Yeah. But the movie originally that was... made Waltz a lot more despicable. But that, yeah. that's cut out of the movie. But they did shoot it. And you can see it on the DVD. The extras. Wonder why they cut yeah. it out. Oh, they shot the scene. Oh yeah, yeah. You could see it. You could see the girl. You oh, could see shit. it. Yeah. So you know he was fucking this little girl. Wonder why they cut that though. Don't know. I mean, who needs fucking a bunch of boners in the theater? <laughs> 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 and the Luca Brasi fucking baby in the fucking oh, the furniture store. The, they the, with the, what he did in that book. They could never film. It was too oh, brutal. Shit. Yeah. yeah. Horrible. Wow. Yeah. What a fucking. You never got the picture of how how brutal Luca Brasi was. <laughs> yeah. Because he's dispatched almost immediately. In yeah, yeah. 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 Just great strangulation. He's a dummy, yeah. Yeah. and then it gets choked. Yeah, yeah. He thinks he's being all wise and yeah. shit. Yeah, you know, eh, I want to work. That's for why you. he goes. I hope your first child is a masculine child because he is the girl who had had a, a, a daughter, and he threw it in the fucking furnace. Yeah, why do you want that? Jesus, Jesus. don't need a fucking daughter. <laughs> he said he did a proxy for fuck's sake. Throw it in the fire. <laughs> he said he didn't want his <laughs> offspring. Wood. Yeah, truthfully, he didn't want to breed. That was why he did it. He too. didn't want to wow. breed. Yeah, he didn't think his offspring <laughs> well, should be. He was wise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> big, big dummy. Yeah. Yeah, could have put him up for adoption, but fuck it. I know, Luca really didn't handle that well. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently he was pro-life. No yeah. abortion. He didn't believe yeah. abortion. Yeah. Yeah. A little fucking little white uh, girl is easy to get rid of, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah come on. <laughs> this, this is called uh, Angelina and Brad or something. <laughs> Chips. Chips. Don't encourage him. That's Chips. That's the hardest thing. Don't encourage him. <laughs> Can I get some water in here? Yeah, what the I know. Fuck? Where's our staff? Where's E Rock? Yeah. Most of them didn't make it in today. How about some water for our guests? Water for the guests, though. That was, no, that was a real mustache? That stupid picture. No, no. <laughs> no, no, no come on. on. Wow, you look we got nuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, those are birthday uh, uh, what announcements on local TV. Yeah, it's a whole thing the fans are doing. It's, it's classic. Crazy with him. He looks like the Greek guy doing the cold slow. Yeah, 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 right <laughs> People speculate. Mix. You get the garbage pail and mix, mix. No deeper. Hit the but must touch bottom yeah. of pail. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes your water. Kenny's yeah, bringing it in. Yeah. Yes, Kenny, I kill you. Kenny is, uh, I Kenny. never thought you guys would get thirsty. He's gingerly walking the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at him. You don't want to shake it up. Yeah. Oh, fuck. 
Hello, Kenny. How are you today? Don't hit me with a flashlight or a slapper. <laughs> <laughs> he was teaching us to slap all Kenny, these techniques. All these, all these Say hi to everybody. I, we were talking about weapons, and I go, is this, le is this legal? And he goes, no. And I'm like, I ordered it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can get it on the web. But yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it should be legal, legal if it's on the web, right? right? Uh, uh, what is it, an old 50s No, brass sap? knuckles. Yeah. Brass, brass knuckles. knuckles. Oh, no, it's illegal, a... I found out. Yeah, Kenny, no, are, the are the brass knuckles illegal, what Kenny? Are they, what are they called uh, 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 in law enforcement? Why can't you have them? Brass knuckles. No, no, they are an unlawful weapon. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that? Because what other purpose could it have other than shattering every bone in someone's <laughs> face? It's for protection. Yeah. Yeah. What if you're walking down the street and a couple... It's good for mixing coffee. <laughs> Five on each hand, they mix it very good. Yeah, it break up cabbage very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cabbage yeah. don't pay in time, you hit the punch. Yeah. You punch first. Punch. punch, very good, you punch. Make a tenderized fish, been here a week. Very good. Yeah. Kenny, give us uh, one in my day. I love Kenny's in oh, my yeah. day stories. Ah, the old you got one in the my one day? with the, the slapstick. The yeah. That well, slapstick thing is a flat call? foot uh, back in the old uh, days. Uh, hypothetically. Yeah. Hypothetically. Yeah, yeah. You did it on honeymoon. Cover up your face, Rob. What do you tell me to cover every in his stomach? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <In> a slapper? <laughs> a slapper. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you've heard. That certain guys would carry a slapper. Yeah. It's like a blackjack, but it's only flat. You know? Blackjack. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Beating, a, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a leather strap with a lead ball at the end. Right. Oh, right. shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was good That's to tune people. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> would it really knock? Would it really hurt most suspects? Oh, oh what are you my kidding? God. I'm saying, could you whack somebody? In the, could a person whack somebody in the head with that thing and they're still fighting? No. 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 I, I've heard <laughs> guys <laughs> with a blackjack. All you have to do is like this, and you shatter the guy's entire kneecap just by doing that yeah. much uh, yeah. force. You just I, touch, touch yeah. him with that thing. The whole kneecap. It's like, is it the handle almost like spring loaded to it? Yeah. Yes, just, there are spring loaded ones. Yeah, yeah, Those are called Texan. Texas slap them. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> oh, okay. You've heard. So, so you've heard. You've heard. Yeah, like one been... time there was a call, and uh, it, it, it was a, a burglary to a house. Yeah. And the cops pulled up, and they found these two guys in the backyard of a house. But really, they were just walking home. They were all fucked up, drunk, coked up, and they went to <laughs> piss in the guy's yeah. backyard. <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, they weren't breaking oh, in, they were shit. pissing. Yeah, oh. but pissing. And, and the cops got startled by him, so they threw him up against the, the car, and then the, the, those guys got a little lippy. So oh, the, the one guy, one cop had a mag light, and the other cop had a slapper. Oh. And uh, <laughs> they, they were just, like, trying to get them to comply. Oh. Whatever and, happened, and can you get out of the yard, please? Yeah. <laughs> Put your dick away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 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 the one cop that had the slapper might have hit that guy so many times he that he actually busted the seams of the leather strap no way. and had to take the slapper to a shoemaker <laughs> to get it stitched up. I was just looking at it and he ran into my slapper. <laughs> yeah, Fifteen times. And God then you know, and then down. you know, like diligently, how you ask questions after you give him a beating. <laughs> wow. Right, because cause the guy got hit so many times, he just gave up. He just doesn't want to get hit no more. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And then, like we found out, it was like an innocent thing. Like they were just oh. walking home from uh, a party. Sure, we're the, we're the, the landscapers. Well, found no, they're here to cut the yeah. lawn. You just beat the fuck out of us. Yeah. Yeah. Now mow my lawn, yeah. So. so then, like the cops were you nice broke enough. You my slapper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The cops were nice enough to, like, drive the, the, the kids home. <laughs> the kid, we should have oh, seen his nice. pencil yeah. and tin cup go flying. <laughs> yeah. But then, like, the, I heard that the one cop was, like, uh, like really scared because, like, the kid got hit so many times in the head. Oh, and he yeah. was, like, all fucked up. What if he, like, went home and went to sleep and never woke up again? Yeah. You know, that, so I heard that, that cop was, like... short bereavement around your precinct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> which, which guy in that story aren't you? <laughs> I think he's a guy I knew. <laughs> <laughs> Serial number on the slapper is... <laughs> this, is uh, this is hypothetically. I, I got ethics and integrity. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. God he had dropped the small caliber weapon <laughs> before we hit him. And, uh, <laughs> I know. It's untraceable. Yeah. I don't believe in street justice. A chase justice. ensued. <laughs> <laughs> the Kenny doesn't do street justice, right? No street yeah. justice. Yeah. I'm no. saying ensued and vehicle. Yeah. Vehicle. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And, and the, the perpetrators, you know, they always fell up the steps going oh, yeah, into yeah. the precinct. Yeah. <laughs> they did. Very clumsy, clumsy perps. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. How did yeah. that happen? Uh, it was poor design. And you were pro <laughs> you guys would probably hold on to them to try to help them up the stairs, yeah. and they would always fall down. They exactly. never, they never shoveled those fucking things. No. <laughs> they, no. they never no. iced, yeah. iced them. Cops are there to protect and serve. Yes, so Walking Tall was a musical comedy. Had a boner watching it. Yeah. That's like My Fair Lady. <laughs> yeah. You cannot get uh, old old school police work like that uh, yeah. anymore. Oh, oh my God! Rod Rodney King ruined the face of police work. <laughs> They're all scared shitless <laughs> now. Not only losing their jobs, but going to jail. Now you're a cop in jail. You don't. I was just tuning some oh, guy man. up with my slapper. Because everybody's got phones now. And there's yeah. Ca yeah, there's cameras everywhere. Now. That's what it is. You can't you can't he beat up people everything. like that anymore. They didn't have cameras in your day, right, Kenny? No. Well, thank God I'd be in the penitentiary right now. <laughs> yeah. Allegedly they have. Oh, think of how much ass you'd get though. Yeah. The big Kenny just yeah. fucking new fish. Kenny's a big <laughs> bottom. Yeah. Believe me, I'd, I'd be the slut of the. <laughs> I brought my slapper. The C block yeah. slut. Is yeah. That you? Oh yeah. They all use their black slappers on his face. <laughs> I Slap couldn't get enough on. of it. The town pump. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He'd have mushroom prints on his cheeks. <laughs> hey, we got JD in Texas. Slapper. This is very strange. JD, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm retired now, but uh, we had an old boy that ran from us up this hill, and he really pissed us off. So the damnest thing happened. We're taking him back to the car. He kept on falling into trees <laughs> and uh, running into trees, and we took him in front of the master. She said, "What the hell happened to him?" I said. I don't know. I guess he just he kept on falling down down that whole hill, kept on hitting trees, and that's what he's got all the cuts and stuff on him for. I wow. hope the tree's all right. Was it Sonny Bono? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Is, what is he talking about trees? Well, he uh, the perp fell into random. Yeah, he fell a bunch of times. He, he yeah. caught a beaten. <laughs> no, he fell into the perpetrator <laughs> fell a bunch of times. Yeah. A chase <laughs> from food. Wherein me and my partner, it was two <laughs> Caucasians and a white guy. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Well, you're going to get this phone call, and, and I think we should. Dan in Denver. Dan? Hello, Opie. Hey, Kenny, it's motherfuckers like you that want us to put hollow points in every fucking motherfucker like you and your stupid fucking bully brothers. You fucking cocksucker. Well, he yeah, was saying hypothetically. <laughs> Kenny was saying hypoth... He's gone. You scale. Yeah, what, what does he mean? Kenny was saying hypothetically. He sounds like he doesn't like police. Yeah. He doesn't like police. He was fucking justifying uh, shooting a cop yeah, at yeah, hollow no. points because of your hollow little point. stories. Yeah. yeah, That guy's a white supremacist, you could tell. Yeah. <laughs> Kenny's yeah. unflappable. You're not going to upset He's, him with a no. phone call. Yes, no. Unless you're pleasant to him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that throws him. He hasn't had to handle it. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. All right. Great. I don't think it's going to be better than that. Uh, God damn Kenny. Fucking, and his I love, I love old Kenny's stories. Story. So, I just picture like the fifties. Oh man! You know the old revolvers, snub nose yes. revolvers. I mean, you ain't taking me, copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> McClus McCluskey had Kenny transferred out of his precinct. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't handle himself well. Yeah. Too cranky. You were asking him about shotguns yeah. before. What kind of shotgun? Like a, what? You know, how do you? You can't shoot a deer with a shotgun, can yeah. you? You know, and it was like no, because there would be fucking holes. Well, you know, you shoot like. How can you miss a deer with a shotgun with the pellets, really? Yeah. There's no fucking way. And, Kenny, what kind of bullets were you saying that are in there? They're a slug. Yes. You in Jersey, you only use right. a slug. So you can't use the spray and just right, no buckshot. Who wants to shoot a little fat animal? You know what you could do, uh, though, with buckshot no, uh, no. rounds? Yeah. You take right around the brass on the bottom, you take a pocket knife, and you cut the, the plastic of the shotgun, and then you load the shell in there, blam, the whole fucking thing comes out of the barrel. Plastic and all. It's like a howitzer. Oh. It's full of shot. The wadding keeps the fucking uh, shot in there. And the plastic, full of shot, goes flying like a fucking rocket ship. Wow. Oh, it puts giant holes in things. Really? Yeah. It's let's a lot see, of fun. Let's see how to Joe in Florida. Joe? <laughs> how do you do, Joe? Hello, Joe. What's up, boys? Hey. Hey, Danny, did you ever screen test anybody in the back of your car? You mean with the the divider? No, no screen yeah. test. <laughs> What's a screen test? Oh, yes. I, I, don't, I don't know. I've heard. You've heard, right? Uh, uh, there was a term it used to be called waffling. You know, the 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 the. the <laughs> 
You know the grating that separates the front seat from the back seat? Yeah. If, if somebody was in the back seat and they got a little lippy... Oh, oh God! Oh, all these retired waffling. murderous cops are all waffling. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you speed up and then jam on the brakes, and then they, you know, they're handcuffed in the back, so they go oh, face shit. first <laughs> into the divider, and they have the waffle prints on them. <laughs> wow! Would that stop somebody? You think from being lippy? Yeah, yeah, probably. I, I wouldn't know. No, no, you uh, just heard it. Yeah, you just heard this. Hey, yeah, hey, I've seen it in the movies. Stephen S. from Bayshore is reminding us of the story you told about your footprint. Do you remember that story? Yeah, it was probably something I told him personally. Oh, uh. <laughs> oh okay. Yeah. And it was probably about some other officer. Yeah. It was unscrupulous. Yeah. yeah. Have yes. you heard? They couldn't fuck with your pension at this point, right? Even if you like you came in like with like fucking photos of you stomping on the Seven years is the statute of limitations for official misconduct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, these are just stories. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's movies. I saw them in the movies. Yeah, yeah. movies, movies. Yeah. Are, you, are you still able to park in Manhattan with a with your police uh, identification? No, you can't? no, no, really? no. That's one thing they really cracked down on. That would be that, that was great when you had that perk, right? Yeah, you could park anywhere and just go get dinner and fucking not pay for a lot and shit. That's great. <laughs> not pay yeah, no, oh, it was a good. It was good. For nice these perk. Guys. It's a nice, a nice perk. perk on their salary. That every little bit helps, man. You guys didn't get paid enough. No, you're right, Otto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think okay. we, uh, we're going to start uh, with the plugs. Now, good. Otto, you're coming back next week with Valby. Let's do this. I I'm going to get in touch with his people. And get him in here. It's been, I think it's been a couple of years now. Yeah, that would be amazing. He may go to hell, yeah. but he's going to go play in the piano. <laughs> <laughs> do we have a piano here so it makes it easy for we him? Buy it. You can get an organ, one of them organs yeah, that we do all that shit. One of the greatest bits ever when he went into that goddamn store. Yeah, uh, Steinway. Have Street. we played that in a while? If we haven't, played that it after the great. break. When we first went to XM. Holy shit. He went in there and showed to, how great to, he was on the piano. To, to purchase a, a three dummies and a puppet, go to laugh.com. That's me and Valby yeah. on a DVD that we did together. Well, so you're going to be doing the Starland Ballroom with John Valby next Friday, yeah. which is February 19th at 7.30. Yep. Uh, it's a great show, man. Otto and Valby. Starland you, you, Ballroom. You can go to StarlandBallroom.com. That's, That's the easiest way. Show. Okay, Levy, yeah. what gig? Uh, this week I'll be at the Ramada Inn, Levittown, PA, and then Nick's uh, Comedy Stop in Boston at the end of the month, the last weekend. I have one plug. Uh, 18, 19, 20, I'll be in uh, San Francisco Cobbs oh, three nights there. Cool next place. weekend. Next, Not this weekend, but next yeah, weekend. Next yeah. Thursday, I Friday, love Saturday, fucking San Francisco, so. man. All right. So, right. James, I'll plug your date next next week when I come in, you greedy fuck. Yeah, Otto Comedy will come back, Bob will be coming James. back. And also we'll be He's filling in for Pharrell all week uh, with Miserable Men oh, starting yeah. Sunday all the oh, way through. You didn't say Pharrell. Well, you, well, you guys are mad at him? No, mad again? I'm all right. I'm him. getting mad. No, he's never said. I'm telling you, he there likes might be, you guys. There might be someone in the room that's still holding a grudge. Really? I'm getting mad. I gotta go piss him. him. Fuck him. Yeah. 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 He might be holding a grudge, <laughs> to be honest with you. Fuck Pharrell and his asshole. No, he, he's never said anything bad. He always said. Oh, please. The guy did nothing but bash us and fucking uh, other people that didn't like us at the time. He's talking to them like we're fucking assholes. Fuck him, two faced shithead. I can't. I can't fucking stand him. Really can't. Why? Why? What are you saying? Yeah, say it fast and in a wacky voice, and people will laugh. So, you like know, I said, we'll be there zero, from eight to zero twelve substance. on Monday to Friday. Zero a little awkward, Bob. Yeah, a little awkward. That fucking you know, asshole. Even I don't left the room. <laughs> You're one yeah. of those rare guys oh, that man. are doing like both camps, and this is what you got to <laughs> deal with. You got to deal with this shit. Ha, 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 ha. The weird thing is, we there's a lot of the players from both camps that get along with each Mad other. Mad Dog yeah, There's still some problems. Mad Dog Russo there's is a professional problems. when it comes to sports broadcasting. Fucking Pharrell's a hack. I dig Pharrell he's a uh, over him. I totally. Fuck Pharrell, he's a fucking cock sucking hack. Uh, I don't know. I love Fuck him. him. You don't Fuck have to him. defend him. No, I love him. I'm telling you, he'll, I, he'll I love his right. style. Yeah, love him. Literally, right literally, literally, do you love him? <laughs> <laughs> he's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get the slapper. It was. It, Don't make me get my slapper. <laughs> it was. It wasn't cool what he did. You know. I mean, there's a lot of guys that feel like to get on. In Howard's graces, you got to trash us. And some people, they they know they don't have to do that. Like He's I, I never heard guy. Bob Levy trashing us. He's one guy. Fourteen that never I can't trashed us, and he, and he does no shows. reason to trash but anybody. But there's some people I that think, really you know? feel they have to do that to get in his good graces, here's and we my, don't understand that. Here's my line. Here's like my fucking rationalization of 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 this situation. Yeah. 
I don't care if somebody is a good soldier for a loyal uh, friendship or or radio show or, or whatever. Radio show, whatever. Right. If you're on a, a certain radio show and you're a good soldier and loyal for them and fuck over us or whatever, I, I really can't hold a grudge. I'll fucking pound you and say you're an asshole and shit mm -hmm. like that, but I won't hold a grudge or anything after the fact. Uh, he was a guy, though, that just, he had, in my opinion, he has no fucking loyalty to anyone but his drunk ass self. He's a fucking two faced backstabbing asshole, and he was just using a situation to try to uh, uh, advance himself at the expense of people that did nothing but help him out, especially at NEW, when they want to throw his fucking drunk, drugged out ass out of that fucking place, and we actually went to management and, and stopped that from happening. And then he goes on another show and fucking badmouths us. Take a dick. Take a dick! He's kind of I don't want to fucking Bob, even deal with him sponsored by Teddy Bear. <laughs> that's, yeah. Oh, Vermont, no. <laughs> Teddy Bear. Uh, uh, right. Steven Steven kinda, I, see, I don't, right I don't get involved with he's that shit because right I don't. You know what of I mean? Course, don't worry about comics. Bob. You're all right. I'm a, uh, you're all right. Don't worry we about. We just. Uh, no, you're fine. We know where you stand. We're, you're fine. And now everyone's saying fuck Bob Levy. So you're you're all right. They got to be not up to a dance. No, we're cool with Bob Levy. We're cool with Otto. Bob Levy not get that tour. Make him a big star. And, uh, Take away his easy pass. <laughs> I'm glad I came in. My old junky head was telling me what I happened? got an excuse to not come in because of the snow. Yeah. But it's like, yeah, my girlfriend, Trish, was like, she goes, you're an asshole if you don't go. <laughs> you're an hey, asshole. I mean, you guys go. are like, you're one of the only legitimate you know? things in show business where I'm accepted. And, Otto, and, I'm we, like a and we love TV you. Guy. It's just been yeah. weird getting in lately, and I apologize. No, it's, cool. it's like everybody is uh, trying to get time on the show, which is flattering. And it's like totally. every time you want to come in, it's like we already have a full house. It's yeah. not fair to you that you drive all the way up and maybe not get a lot of airtime. So, nah, but you came in today and you fucking asshole. just gave us a, an amazing hour and hopefully you'll yeah. come back uh, with Valby well, next I week. All right, be happy. Good memories. And you're going to be in yeah, Tom's yeah. River. Yeah, uh, yeah, Tom's River and Tom's River. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 I think it's located in Tom's River. City of Tom's River. Great club. Jimmy C's Tom's River. When's that? The same night as Valby. Yeah, that's ten o'clock. Show seven three two four seven three one one eight three. Maybe I could help. You're out, Tom's River. <laughs> I, mean, I, was, I stepped on yeah. his number. I apologize. Seven three two four seven three eleven eighty three. I yeah. stepped on that. You missed the Pharrell rant. Oh, I, I actually I, I had to nah, piss so badly. You time. missed the Pharrell nah, rant. Nothing, that was good. Nothing new. Pharrell yeah. badmouthed me. Uh, I don't uh, I don't know if he has since, but in, in that one he, he trashed me. I've never, never heard uh, anything who since the beginning. Uh, Scott Pharrell. But it was a long time ago. Yeah, right. I don't know why he did it. I, I just I mentioned that we were filling in for him next yeah, yeah. week, it, and uh, uh, might have been a, a bit yeah, of a mistake on Bob Levy's part. Then the show then the show will be fucking much better. I'm sure. You guys and then there's everyone else. I don't you don't. Oh shit! You fucking heard of that guy? Oh, you're not gonna be able to do Howard now because you said. Isn't that, that what you, we used to wash our hands with after a fucking bite or something? <laughs> Pharrell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Antibacterial after we Pharrell. Touched our disgusting listeners. Wasn't that person? horrible yeah. doing the signings and shaking <laughs> the sweaty fucking oh. hands? Especially after those oh. August shows at the Pete. Oh, <laughs> they were all just wet and fucking. Yeah. Oh, and disgusting. half those motherfuckers are wiping their ass yeah, just, yeah. To, just oh, to leave a little something on our hands. hands. Like they're a, giving us stink fingers. Know, yeah, we're not so stupid. They got a good story to tell them. On purpose. Purpose. Watch, I'll shake his fucking hand. Watch, watch him really grab my ball sack. Now rub my teeth for a while. I love your show. I love your show. Been making coleslaw all fucking day. Watch this. <laughs> Remember that coleslaw the next time you go to a uh, fucking I bank. never, I don't eat the coleslaw at the no. They bring over those pickles and the coleslaw and the yeah. bread that no one yeah. eats. It's they bring it in the back and, and you never fucking somebody comes back out. directly on it, yeah. but there's a little sputum on there. Oh, yeah, because no it one. is in a cup and it's away from, it's like they put it on the table and it's like away, and you know if you don't touch it, they're definitely they're taking that back. They're not fucking Bobby. throwing that shit no. out. No Levy, you're not funny Goes anymore right now that we know you're on Scott Farrell's side. Oh, Jesus. But I will be at next comedy Stop at the end of the month. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Fruitfully get there. Uh, you got it at revbobleavy dot did com. I, did you do Let's get good out of here. Or did you do really good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm it's telling bad. you, the owner was laughing. <laughs> uh, all right, I have a little fucked up. Those are all Levyisms. Yeah, Bob is fucking. Let's truly fucking nuts. get out of here, Travis. Hit it, man. All right, map.